windscreen's filthy. Who'll bring your work over here, Sophie? Uh, I have an eye for it. Plus, I'd rather look at some furry dice than Mr. Nelson on Olive Mount Walk. Why? What did he do? Well, he's a nudist. Loves a bit of keep fit. Does star jumps mainly. Talking of furry dice. Ugh. Hey, Luke. You do know about all afternoon, don't you? I'm so sad. Oh, I do, mate. Yeah. You look happy. So would you if you had no work on and nothing in the pipeline? Good. Or did you fancy working for a couple of racists? When you punched those thugs, I kissed goodbye to being able to pay my share of the rent this month. What, should I let him get away with it? No. Right then. I just wish you hadn't lost your temper. The minute you use your fists, you've lost the argument. Are you for real? I think because I don't want you to get into trouble. Oh, might be a bit late for that. I was standing up for us both. Oh, how many times I can fight my own battles. Blue Britain, we're arresting you for assault, occasioning actual bodily harm. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence. If you do not mention when questioned, something you're later allowed in court. Wait. This is unfair. I was provoked. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Don't say anything until you've got a lawyer. I'd like to come to the station with us. Yeah. Love to. Good luck, Luke. Yeah, good luck, mate. I'll call him and I'll get him there straight away. Thanks, Kate. Not being funny, are you? But the rent should have landed in our account today, and it hasn't. I'm sure we'll build it off with a caution. Yeah, fingers crossed. Oh. Problem? No joy. Straight to voicemail again. Look, I'm sorry, Pat. It's Luke. He's been arrested. Yeah, I heard there was a bit of a set to yesterday. Can I just say, I condemn racism in all of its ugly forms. Good for Luke, that's what I say. Who are you trying now? Imran? Let's hope the justice system agrees with me. Yeah, and listen, no news is good news. Yeah, but the longer he's with the police, the worse it's going to be, surely. No, you don't know that. Tell you what, Alia, I'll give you another week to get the money in, eh? It's at times like this, you really need your friends. Thank you, Pat. That's really kind. <gasps> hey! Oh, thank God for that! <sighs> You're back. That means you've been let off, right? No, of course it does. Yeah. They charged me. What? You're joking. No, no, this can't be happening. Oh, well, it's happening, all right. He's got his first hearing tomorrow. Look, he's going to be all right, isn't he? Honestly, I don't know. But trust me, this is serious. Thought you could do with something a bit stronger. What's up? Do you have any takeaway menus in it? Oh, found some. I feel dreadful. You didn't punch him. You're facing prosecution because of my clients. Uh, ex-clients. How are you going to plead? Self-defence. Can you do that? Wait, you can't give in to this. None of us can. I can try and prove racially motivated provocation to support his plea. Um, I've got to go. I've got to go to this uh, surprise thing for Carla's birthday. I'll see you. Actually, forget a takeaway. Let's go out somewhere. I'm going to sit in here all day. Don't mind? Of course not. Uh, what's this? Andy used to make them. That's really cute. <laughs> so, pizza, do you? When did I ever say no to a carb? Mm -hmm. You bend like a ballerina. <laughs> Just doing my job, ma'am. <laughs> Roy? Is that the cabin alarm? No, it, it's the garage. Mm. Wait, wait, oh, no! <laughs> No, stop, stop! games now, are they? What did they say? The usual. They'll make their inquiries. You did tell them who did it? Told them, but proving it's the hard bit. Well, what about CCTV? Brilliant. Except they were wearing masks. Such 
watching India. Found out punched them. Look, they had it coming. Roy didn't. He's just a bit shook up. Right, once we're done here, pizzas are on me. Not going now. What, are you gonna let them think they've won? Yeah, Ali is right. Go. I'll stay here with my dad. Right, well, I'll have to get changed. <laughs> Come here. Yeah, you can't let her win, mate. Thought you'd like to know. Emily's back in the country. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, well, will we get to see her? Uh, possibly. Yeah, but she's come back to look after Frida, who's not very well, apparently. So, um, have to wait and see. Yeah, well, give her my best wishes, eh? I will. Hey, Emily's back in the country. Is she? Yeah, the gun's just been saying it. Jules? Frida's... What's this? Well, it's the least I could do after what happened to the garage. That's not your fault. Yeah, maybe if we'd listened to Luke a bit sooner, this wouldn't have happened. Anyway, enjoy. Um, sorry, OK. Cheers, mate. Mind if I join you? No. I mean, yeah. Fine. Excuse me a minute. I couldn't do it, but I will. No, you won't. Hey, I thought you was getting us drinks. Hey, I'm just even so excited. I'm so proud. You meant to go into town? Yeah, why not? Relax. miles for one step in all that. First day, mate. It's exciting times. Oh, no. That Gary. Gary got it back. Gary Gibb, Gib, Barry Gibb, not Gary. Barry Gibb originally sang it. Take that, covered it. Take that as in, as in what? Barry Garlow. <laughs> <laughs> it's Gary. I can't believe it's light. I've got work in a few hours. Rosie will think I've copped off. Mm, Saz, I ruined your chances hanging out with you. No, I've had a right laugh. <laughs> night night. I mean, morning morning. <laughs> Oh, uh, sorry. I heard a cab. I thought you were Luke. Well, is he out and all? Oh, last I heard, meeting some mate in a pub and his friend was dying. You, know, you wait till I see his face. He's dead. He knows how stressy things are. I've been thinking all sorts. Maybe it's because of the stress he went out on a bender. Yeah, maybe. Carry on. Carry on, she said. Probably shouldn't. You're single. I'm single. We're not hurting anyone. Great night, Soph. Ta. You still doing the GCSE in gossip? I'd so get an A star. Actually, I'd get an A level, a GHD. PhD. GHD hair straighteners. Oh, yeah. Just tell me who you copped off with, and then I'll stop going on. Actually, I won't forever. I didn't cop off with anybody. It was just a snog. Name! Just tell me. Come on, spell. <sighs> it was Kate. Kate? <gasps> she is gorgeous. Right, we need a plan. Well, we don't need no plan. Oh, my God. What am I going to wear to the wedding? Huh? Whoa! Uh, you've heard of a drop scone, right? <laughs> That's a drop quiche, that is. Well, it's how new recipes were born. What time did you say you were out to last night? One. Ish. Two, maybe. Right. Blow into this. What? I want to see how much alcohol is still in your system. Blow into this, please. <sighs> OK, OK. Maybe it was three. Six. Ish. But I stopped drinking at four. OK. Go home and don't turn up to work this drunk again. I'm not drunk. I'm drunk enough to believe that vape's a breathalyzer. <sighs> no, no, no. Don't do it. But you're up to me, mother, would you mean? She clenches her jaw inside, she'll break her dentures. Hey, Z, good to see you, mate. Table for six, was it? Five. Uh, right, just here. Someone will be with you in a minute. Perhaps Sabine will surprise you. For all our sakes. Wow. But she has a, a migraine cover. She said migraine, did she? Imagine it, too. Sit down. Why don't you sit at the head of the table? Uh, where is she? You said she was working. Yeah, she said she was. Oh, you don't think she said that so she didn't have to sleep with you, do you? Rosie. Oh. Okay, that is classic. Hard to get. It's a good sign. Ex 
text her. No. Text Kate. You can't both play hard to get there. She won't get anywhere. Rosa, I'm not texting her. She probably regrets it now anyway. Oh. oh. Someone in a bad mood? <sighs> she just needs to have more confidence. In what? Well, you know, where she sits on the sexy scale. Anyone would be lucky to have her. No way. Got an admirer, has she? Well, would Kate have snogged her if she wasn't interested? No, she wouldn't. I need to get back to Alia. Oh, not yet. Look at you. Don't. Why? I need to have a, a clear head. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Just, just give yourself a chance. No! You don't want me here. I could, uh, get Sophie. Genuinely, if she's what you need. Sophie? Why would... Is this about last night? You bring that up now. You were the one that was pushing me away, playing games. I'm telling Zidane, I'm not telling Zidane. It just wasn't the right time. Thank God you didn't. I'm not playing games, Kate. I wanted to. But things that came from you. I wasn't pressuring you, pushing you, not anymore. No, I know, but Luke was. When he came in just now in bits and, and said it was because of Luke, I, I, I thought he'd done it. I thought he told someone. Oh, don't you dare say you were relieved. That he's dead? You seriously think that of me? Sorry. Of course not. It's hard to take in. He was younger than me. And now he's gone. And just like that. I keep thinking about how upset he was with us and how we'll never fix it. I'm sorry. Hey, it's okay to be upset, you know. It was a good mate of yours. And we would have sorted things out in time. With him? Yeah. And with us. We will. I need to go. Stay away. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to Carla. See if I can stay at her place in Devon. Why, why, why would you go? Why do you think? You. Al, you will be in bits. Zidane will be in bits trying to hold it together. He'll need you. And? And I'll need you. Too much. It's too much. Go and hug herself now. Mm. What? You're upset. She's upset. Alia, I'm so sorry. Um, orange juices, please, whatever they want. Yeah. Please, don't be afraid to talk to her. Let's not pretend this hasn't happened. Sophie, she looks in a right state. It's not sharky. She needs you. Go on. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bushes. What? Go on. She's took it that hard, hasn't she? I'll talk to her. to say it's, it's mad. It's just so wrong. You hold on to each other. On to happiness. Yeah. Thanks. See ya. Why is she got a case? Carla said I can stay here, a place in Devon. But if you need me, I'll, I'll stay. It's just there. It's fine. We've all got to deal with this our own way. I'm at the end of the phone, day or night, yeah? I better. Cap's waiting. Bye. I'll um, make sure she gets off OK. Go after her. Well, she'll come to speak to me if she... Life is too short. How much proof do you need of that today? Go on. OK. Please, wait. I'm sorry. It's too hard. I love you. Then don't go. It's over. Yours. Okay. But it's over. Just take care of all you. Are you going away? For a bit. To Carlos. Look, you must be really upset about Luke. Because I am. Come here. I know we had a stupid kiss, but I really care about you, okay? So if you need anyone to talk to. Yeah, thanks. See ya. You shouldn't think of us being sharky. I 
actually really care about her. You guys okay? We're gonna have a vigil for Luke. Music, pictures, you know, try and focus on the good stuff. Yeah, it's these friends sorting the speakers. Do we need to get permission from the council for the music? I'll just ask my mum. Feels wrong, Kate, not being here. Mm. You think she's okay? She's fine. The radio at work. Still tuned into that awful station they loved. Mind you, we had a deal. One of Luke's songs for five of mine. Yeah. Dad, he just didn't tell you that he actually liked Phil Collins. Oh, two stupid thugs, eh? Causing all this grief. Yeah, they've caught them, though, haven't they? I mean, that's the hardest bit. Once they get locked up, they'll pay. Oh, I've got to get to the bank, but... You have to go. I'll take care of things here. Go. <laughs> You're a superstar, you know what? Hey, Alia. You okay? We're holding a vigil because the funeral's delayed. We're going to play songs he loved and ask his mates to talk about the memories. Oh, yeah, that's so lovely. Yeah, Luke would have hated anything morbid, wouldn't he? He wanted it to be, I don't know, a celebration. You ditched him to sneak around with Aiden, so please don't act like you were soulmates. I didn't mean. Uh -oh. Sorry. Give up on Andy. Look how long Luke was trying to track him down. My mum has sorted the paperwork for the council. Uh, the playlist ready. I'll put the speakers up in a bit. Oh, and uh, Maria said Steph's booked a flight back. I can't even bear to think if that was Rosa. <sighs> See, he's been amazing with Alia. Yeah. Well, I would say he's a keeper, but you already married him. I'll tell you something, though. Now oh, we're getting a few cats soon. <laughs> As if you haven't got your picky girls. <laughs> Brian, I'll be honest. Do you think I've got a chance with Kate? It's just I'm really rubbish at reading signals, but... Because she kissed? Well, yeah. I'd save my energy if I were you. Find someone who feels the same way. She said something to you. Oh, not exactly. Only, uh... Oh, stop, honestly. I'm physical cringing. Soph, you're gorgeous. You'll find someone. Yeah. I'll get these top to pay. You don't have to come with me. Well, we can go back out again soon. Get us all a drink, Tim. Where's Liz? Oh, she's outside doling out the hot pot. She'll be back in a sec. Do you know what? I've got a right mind to chain myself to them railings at the police station. Do you know, it's obviously them who did it. It's unbelievable they've let them get away. You despair, quite honestly, so don't you? Oh, what is the world coming to? I mean, the nicest lad you could ever wish to meet. Oh, and then this happens. I mean, all because he stood up for something he believes in. Couldn't make it up, could you, son? I'm, uh, off to the bog. You know, it's like Tracy says, all the nasty people in the world and it happens to a good one. Yeah, like she's got room to talk. Mum! I, uh, I saw you making the sign of a cross, Pat. Does that mean you're a Catholic? Once upon a time, for my sins. I just wanted to give you something for everything that you've done tonight. Hey, you will do no such thing. Garage paid for half of it, but we'll do the rest. Are you sure? I'm positive. Thank you. How are you, really? The words don't exist. I feel like I'm just staring into a void without him. Me. Why did it happen? Why? Right. Is there no wedding? No wedding. Because of Daniel? Right. Did Daniel interrupt the service? Daniel? No. Why? Oh! Hey! Hello. Oh. Doesn't she look lovely? Do you know what? I'm feeling a bit like I did. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised, Auntie Bear. You ran me in that car, though. Could mm. you not have curled her fringe a bit more, love? Where's Kirky? He and Ches need a last-minute pep talk. With his head down the toilet. The pros and cons of marriage. There are no cons. Ignore him, Sinead. It's all a bit of a con, if you ask me. Mm. Oh, is it now? No, I love him. I love your dress. I'm shaking like a leaf. No surprise, come on, I've got the eating crack too. Oh, I like your hat. Oh. Uh, our auntie Gina made him for us. 
Good luck, Sinead. Have a good day, darling. Yeah, and if you have half the luck that I had, you'll be OK. Mm -hmm. oh, fingers crossed. I give you this ring as a symbol of our marriage and a token of our love. I promise I'll always respect you as an individual and support you through the difficult times and rejoice with you through the happy times. I'll be loyal always, but above all, I promise I'll always love you as my husband and as my friend. Chesney. I give you this ring as a token of my love. Come on, Chesney, spit it out. And as a symbol of our marriage. I promise that I will respect you. I promise that I will respect you. I promise. What's the hold up? That I will. That I will respect you as an individual. Chess. I can't do it. What? It's fine, you just repeat after her. We've rushed it. He's not ready. Are you not ready? I'm sorry. I should have said something earlier. This is all a mistake. Take your time, Chesney. I'm really, really sorry. I don't think we should do this. I'll be there, but Sophie will be. She'll be representing us, as the young people say. Do we? It's important marrow business, I'm afraid. She's having a photo taken for a caravan article. Uh, but I wish her all the very best. You don't even like caravans. Sophie, as the mayor, I have to put my personal opinions to one side. <laughs> But I will be there in spirit. Thanks, Sal. Mum's really grateful, especially for everything that you've done for Faye. Let's just hope the Seb comes through, eh? I'm glad I've looked into you both. I hope you don't mind me coming along. I'm very fond of Anna and I'd, I'd like to show my support. She'll appreciate it, Mary. I'm sure she's going to be OK. I hope so. There's a coffee stall down there. Why don't we go and get some coffee and cake? Cheers, right. Seven. Oh, you see the jewelry's faces? They couldn't believe it. No, it's not way they could find one guilty now. The case should go for a quick burger. Oh, I won't, thank you. I've eaten my own body weight in cola cubes. Can I, Dad? Yeah, of course you can, love. Ah, oh, burger it is, eh? Well, I'm sure I can force one down. <laughs> so we're going to have to keep an eye on Seb, you know. Yeah, I know I looked terrified, didn't I? Deb, can you please just phone me? <sighs> Still voice me on. Blimey, what's happened to you? I got mugged. How's Mum? How do you think? Where were you? In the hospital. I am so sorry. Well, it seems not only are they doing it for GBH, they're going to do it for ABH as well for uh, assault in Ireland and escaping custody. What, did Phelan do that to you? Did you go after no, him? No, it wasn't him. I didn't know the guy, all right? Well, we've been ringing you. Hey, he's just said he's been mugged. My phone got smashed. Are you OK? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. OK, well, we can't get hold of Seb. But you were supposed to be taking care of him and now he's gone missing. We've told her that he'll probably just be lying low. Yeah, but what if he's not? What if something's happened to him? We need to go to the police. Well, they won't help. I mean, it's not like he hadn't done it before, is it? Faye, we are going to find him. I'm not even talking to you. Look, he trusted you, both of you. Well, we only did what we thought was best. Yeah, and now Mum's in prison and Seb's gone missing. Faye, whatever you say, you can't make me feel any worse than I already do, all right? Your dad's right. Seb's smart. He's probably just gone to ground. So if you do us a favour and take Faye to the cafe, get us something to eat with Don't tell me what to do. You need to eat. Now go. Come on. I'm starving. <sighs> What happened to you? Not now, Kev. 
Should have been there for your mum, you know. You're all right back at you. Have you spoke to her? No, they won't let me. A solicitor said I'd get a message to her, but... She's strong, your mum. She'll get through this. Yeah, well, let's hope so, eh? It's not about being sat at home worrying, is there? Anything? Well, no, I think she's better off going to school, taking her mind off Seb. Look, I don't want to take my mind off him. You don't get it, do you? Anything could have happened to him. Faye. Faye, listen to me. I know I'll let you down, OK? Not just me. Believe me, if I could have been there, I would have. But look at me. Look at me. You, Mum and Jake are everything to me. And I promise you that nothing is going to happen to Seb, OK? Come here. Let's get you to school. You spoke to Gary about moving in. He's my brother. Yes, and Tim is your dad. Fee, I think you're being really unfair. So what's all this about, then? I'm moving in with Gary. Put the bag down, Faye. You're going nowhere. It's a bit late for you to worry about what I do now, don't you think? What's that supposed to mean? Well, you didn't worry about me when I was a baby. When you left me. When you put me up for adoption. Look, you let me down then, just like you let me down with Seb. OK, love, listen to me. I know that I'm not perfect. Believe me, I know that. But if I've done the wrong thing, I've done it for the right reasons. Come here. Sorry. Right, does that mean you can take this bag back up now? Well, I'm just worried about Seb, that's all. Well, I promise you, we're going to find him, Faye, and everything's going to be OK. Do you trust me? Good, cos me and Gary, we're going to get it sorted. Devon! Lovely. There it was. Oh, I might have a Cornish pasta for old time's sake. Oh, Okie dokie then, but personally, I recommend the pizza. Pizza's not a West Country delicacy. No, but it is the ultimate feel good food in both as a grocer and a gourmet. I'd say that you cannot beat a stuffed crust. Plus, they are two for one. <laughs> Go on then. Go on then. <laughs> Hi. Well, someone's hungry. Oh, well, one's fat, oh, yeah. We're having a girls' night in. Cheering up might be overambitious, but I'm trying to take a mind off things for a while. Yeah, no, it's nice. Uh, well, anyway, it's good to see you. I've missed you. Oh, thanks. You know, I was thinking one night, obviously after the funeral, but I was just wondering if you fancied going for a drink. <sighs> well, only a drink then. Oh, I don't actually mean us all. I just meant me and you. <laughs> but it's only because I was speaking to Rana the other day and she was saying that... Rana? What did she say? Well, nothing really. She just said it was maybe worth us following it up. Look, if she's got the wrong end of the stick, then... Oh, no, 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 it's fine. I'm flattered. It's just, um... I need to focus on Alia right now. Yeah, I understand. I'm not saying no. I just need some time. No, honestly, it's cool. Hey. hey, come on, I've got one young Barlow who wants feeding. Make that two. Uh, you've not been playing football and you're not young. Hang on, what is this today? Open season. I'm not over the hill, you know. <laughs> yeah, but the view can't be as good as it was, can it? Oh. oh. Right, come on, Si's going to be eating the centrepiece. Come on. Hey. Oh, uh, you're just off out for your meal. Yeah, we are. You sure you don't want to come here? Give me. No, I'm done in. Yeah, me and all. Well, <laughs> you've been plucking all day. Me? Hey? You know, eyebrows, eyelashes. Uh, your beauty course, she said it wasn't much cop. Oh, yeah, no, 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 it wasn't. But um, thank you for covering for me. Yeah, no problem. Right, shall we rock and roll, kid? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See ya. See ya. Thank you. I didn't know whether I was coming or going there. Do you know, if we do this, we're going to be lying to them for the rest of our lives. Not to mention Aidan, Adam, any other partner that you might have. I, I didn't think of it like that. Well, you need to. We've got to be certain, Eva, beyond any doubt. I just wondered if there was anything that I could, or they could do, nutritionally speaking. Your friend should really come to the surgery if they're having kidney problems. You can book an appointment with Dr. Oh, no, it's not me. It, you know, it's, it's someone I know from, uh, from, from back watching. Well, without knowing the specifics, I can't say they really need to see the doctor. Thank you. Hello again. Sophie's just asked me out. Is she? Don't look so surprised. Oh, she told me a kiss. I was trying to do you a favour. I don't need any favours. I'll start dating again when I'm good and ready. I just want you to be happy. That was never going to happen with me. Yeah, well, only because you wouldn't let it. There's no point bringing it up again. You're right to end things. It's easy all around. <sighs> Not so easy that I just move on to the next gig in the village. Thanks 
Lend me your place. Do me the world of good. But then you came back here. Don't worry, I know exactly how you feel. <laughs> Doubt it. Sophie just asked me out. Ah, well, granted, she's never done that to me. What do you say? No. Still got feelings for Rana. Well, when you've loved someone, there's always something lurking in there. Don't mean to say you have to take a vow of celibacy. It won't be fair on Sophie. She's asked you out for a drink, Kate. She's not proposed. <laughs> Go out with her. Life's too short to overthink things. You never know, you might enjoy yourself. When is it? A few weeks' time. On to it. Well, would I have to fight? You train first, then you'd be matched against someone of a similar ability. Oh, yeah, okay, why not? Mm. Uh, aren't you a Christian? Shouldn't you be turning the other cheek? Yeah, well, it's for a good cause, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so will I, Bird. But you didn't have to get beaten up for it. Well, I don't know. Howard Jones was on the bill. Mm. I'd rather take my chances in the ring. In the ring. Mm. But all you have to do is just take the collection tin from the garage, stick it here on the bar, you'll make just as much money and nobody has to get the nose bust. What's it to you? Why are you so anti? Oh, I'm not anti-boxing. Just anti-me. <laughs> no, don't flatter yourself, mate. So what's your problem, then? Yeah, David, what's your problem? <sighs> I mean, it's one thing Tyson Fury doing it, but, I mean, hairdressers, mechanics and death. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. Yeah, well, you know what it does to me, so you can put my name down and you never know, I might get to fight Maria. When's Steph getting in from Portugal? Late tonight. I don't know what time. You should eat something, you know, it's gonna be fun tomorrow. Are you still all right to read that poem that I sent? Luke's parents really wanted a friend to read something. Yeah, not a problem. It's beautiful. <laughs> I don't know so much now. I mean, let me go. It's easy to say when you're not the one left behind. The one that's got to wake up with that same punch in the stomach every morning. It won't always be like this, you know. I'm guessing you know that. After losing your mum and dad, I suppose you... Should have known better than to love anyone. It always ends like this. I'm just marking time until the next disaster comes and tears my heart out. I appreciate the thought and everything, but I think you should go out. Don't be daft. But I mean it. Go and enjoy the good times, Kate, because there are plenty more bad ones waiting down the line. I just wanted to get an early night, you know, with the funeral tomorrow. Do you know what? She'll feel miles better when it's over. I can remember when Maddie died, and I just wanted someone to tell me it was all a terrible mistake. It seemed to make more sense than the truth. I can't imagine. You know what, though? The funeral, that'll make it feel real. Um, listen, what are you said in the shop? Oh, forget about it, honestly. No, I've had a think, and I'd love to go out if you still look for it. Uh, Kate, I'm not having a sympathy date. No, oh, as if. No, we'll get tomorrow out of the way and then we'll sort something out. OK? Yeah, OK. All right, I'll leave you to your trip then. Good night. Thanks. It's not safe round here, Sal. I'm going to take Faye to my dad's for a bit and I want you to come with us. Oh, you're being silly. Well, I'd rather be silly and still breathing. Don't be so dramatic. Dramatic? A bloke's dead, Sal. You don't get any more dramatic than that. I'll uh, wait outside. Yeah, all right, love. Look, Luke died because there's some evil people in the world. Yeah, there's one of them that lives across the street. Well, that feeling might be dodgy, but he's no murderer. Aye, right, try telling that to Luke. Listen, I'm going and I'm going to take Faye with me. It's up to you if you want to come. When I come to the end of the road and the sun is set for me, I want no rights in a gloom-filled room. Why cry for a soul set free? Miss me a little, but not for long, and not with your head bowed low. Remember the love that we once shared. Miss me, but let me go. For we all must take this journey, and each must go alone. It's all a part of the master plan, a step on the road to home. So when you are lonely and sick at heart, go to the friends we know, laugh at the things we used to do. Miss me, 
but let me go. To Luke. The best friend a girl could ever have. To Luke. There's a few people I didn't expect to see at the funeral. Pat Phelan, for one. Yeah, he wasn't exactly Luke's mate, was he? I think he knew that he wasn't welcome. Did you miss being around here? I did, but with Luke gone, there's just too many ghosts around here. And an axe I'd rather forget. Have you heard anything from him, Andy? Nothing. I thought he might have got in touch, you know, with Luke being in the papers, but... You were friends with him, though. Have you not heard anything from him? Maybe this is him. You know what? I really thought Andy was the one. I don't even think I believe in the one anymore. I do. I think everybody has a soulmate. Oh, it's Alia. She's at the station. Just wanted to say she couldn't go through today without us all. And Kate, she says thanks for the poem. It really meant a lot to her. One, Steph, oh yeah, Luke's mum and dad, but hey, you're allowed to cry for him too. No, no, you can't be the one to make me feel better. We'll still be mates. You know we can't. It is all messed up. Every time I look at you, in Zidane, it hurts. It physically hurts. I can't be around you pretending everything's okay. Just stay away from me. Anne, Sheena, go to the gym. No, I've been. That's what I need to do. Can't you tell by the lack of sweat she's just sat on the couch and watched VH what? I, no, I didn't. I watched MTV. Oh, he's off this afternoon. It's something to do with a boxing thing. Mum's got a flat tyre. Mum, I told you we've all got training and then we've got a meeting in the Rovers. That's what I need to do. <laughs> I'm going to get changed. Oh, but also it's half past five, making stuff in my stall. He said he could sort it first thing. Mum, why don't you just ring my dad? Well, I can't even get hold of him. Honestly, when I ran that place, there were none of these days off and afternoons in the pub. When you <laughs> ran that place? Where's Tim? He stayed at his dad's last night and now she can't get hold of him. Yeah, how many times have I tried him? Yeah, loads. I don't know why he's so desperate to get hold of him. Because it's complicated. We can change the tyre. Why wait? What? Auntie Gina, what is wrong with you? You're like a crazy ball of energy. I am bipolar. I'm not crazy. Oh, no, I didn't mean you like that. Well, have you ever changed a tyre before? Countless times. Well, what do you need? You need a jack and a spare tyre. Yeah, and a man with big, strong arms. Not so, young lady. Well, what about Deb? Where's he? Now he's shopping for shirts on the internet. You're not listening, Sal. We can do it. There weren't any men in the Spice Girls. Yes, and the Spice Girls weren't mechanics. Look, mm. I do know where the keys for the garage are, but I am not having no part in this madness. I am not mad. I'm bipolar. It's just an expression. What do you think, Mum? Reckon we could change a tyre? Come on, Sal. Spice up your life. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Put on some overalls so I don't get dirty. You should do the same. You? I thought you were never going to wear an overall ever again. Well, I thought it might look sexy. Oh, Lord, give me strength. Right, what we're going to do is think like a mechanic, and we'll be all right. What? It's all the, the way to get these big knots off. It's something to do with the glove compartment. That's where you keep the thing to get the things off. Well, it all sounds very technical. I'm ready with the tea. You love? I'm not booked in, but I'm after an MOT. Yeah, no problem. Any chance you can fit me in today? Yeah, of course. Uh, when do you want it back? Ten o'clock in the morning. Consider it done. Oh, great, thanks. It's Mrs. Palmer. See you tomorrow, Mrs. Pete. <laughs> right, you crack on with that flat tire. I'll get stuck in with this. Me? What are you doing? Auntie Gina has just booked some woman in for an MOT. You haven't taken your medication, oh. have you? Where is she? Excuse me? Excuse give me the key. No. Give me the key. Give me the key. Excuse me? Look, I'm really sorry. But she's not Okay. Shona will fight. Like the Xbox, are they? <laughs> Maria. Oh, let the trash talk begin. <laughs> I'm gonna ruin you. She is an all. Oh, stories I heard about her back in the day. 
Yeah, who was it that you put through that lease shop a window? Leslie D'Souza. Oh, and he was a massive bloke and all. It's all about technique. By the time you get in that ring, you will like Amanda Serrano. And I'll be Mike Tyson. Right, next, come on. What about me? Oh, can't I go next? Who am I fighting? Do you want to fight Shona? I'll fight Shona. I'm not scared of anybody. No, I want you. <coughs> I thought you looked pretty handy, by the way. Saw you wearing that bag. Seriously? That's these chumps. <laughs> oh, look, cheers. Has she been harming Adam? Nope. I would have done that MOT gladly. You need to take your medication. I don't, Sal. I feel fantastic. Look, have I got to march you across that road? No, all you have to do is check the windscreen wipers work and the, and the lights. No, Gina, enough. Quiet. Oh, I mum, chill out. No, it's Kevin's business, Rosie. It's not a toy shop or a playground. This is his livelihood. I'm Tyrone's. You were the one who had a flat tyre. Yeah, and I would have waited. I don't know how long with it to shut you up. Now, come on, let's go and get you sorted. Look, did we successfully change your tyre or not? Me and Rosie changed that tyre just because between us we knew enough to cope. I mean, running around in a boiler suit, booking in MRTs. Right, I'm going. Well, I'm coming with you. No, I am not going to sit around here being badmouthed by a stuck-up little pixie like you. You know the problem with your mum, don't you? She's perfect. <sighs> Gina! Gina! Hello. How, uh... It was okay. Thanks. We'll see. See? See, Dan. Come on, come on, mate. Come on. Back inside. Come on. Has he been drinking? Get away from me. Easy, easy. Can we help you? Rosie? Enjoy. Neither. She'll come on when she's ready. What, after all that? Oh, uh, someone's been looking for you. Thanks. Uh, you missed the boxing. I had to nip into town with my brother. Oh, would you fancy a quick one in the Rovers? Drink, I mean. <laughs> um, I might have a quiet one. Sorry. No, it's OK. We'll uh, manage that drink one day, eh? Yeah, of course we will. Still got your heart set on the other one? No. You know, Robert's round there now. The Dan's been on the whiskey all afternoon. Are you kidding me? Nope. Whiskey. <laughs> Talk about baptism of fire. That's quite a cat you set amongst the pigeons there, isn't it, kid? What's up with you? You seem proper down in the dumps. What can I see? Don't they really have a drink? Oh, come on. Didn't you see how they were talking? It's like when you first get with someone, you can't tell yourselves apart. The tenor says they end up back at hers tonight. Yeah, well, I've heard she's keeping it right. All right, well, the tenor says the back it is then. Sure, you're terrible. Why can't it just be innocent? Why is it some big conspiracy theory? But you're the type of person that thinks man don't land on the moon. Well, firstly, why is there a part of harder that you can't fly over? It's because they filmed it there. Oh. <laughs> I've been a bit full on. Not at all. It's been me. It's, it's been a long day. I know, but we have been saying for ages that we was going to come for a drink, haven't we? Yeah, and here we are. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Like a date. Yeah, me too. Has Carla mentioned anything about this? Why? How many qualifications have you got? Two GCSEs, food, tech and gem. Bet you make a belt in Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> That's Austrian. Well, I know that, but I didn't think you'd notice. Uh, excuse me, I might be thick, but I'm certainly not stupid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's true. Told you. She bought you a fly swatter today. Who did? What? My niece. She wanted to give things another go. A fly swatter? Yeah, we used to sell them in the shop. <laughs> look, yeah, look, look, let me... Just, there's nothing going on between me and Carla. It's not, it's not like that. Exactly. It's just a friendly drink. And he was just telling me how much he still really liked it, so... And how friendly was it when the pair of you were necking on his doorstep? 
Uh, well, um. Are we? It's a good job she ain't decided not to come, so she didn't have to see you rubbing her nose in it again. You don't let the grass grow, do you? Yesterday you wanted her back. Today you're going out with her old boss. Whoa, we're not going out. Read a book. Look. Make your mind up, will you? I asked her yesterday. She was playing out to get. Can't you read between the lines? You deserve each other. He can help you across the road with your shopping. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, I think you make a lovely couple. Any word from Tim? Oh, I'm not ringing him again. I don't want to look desperate. Well, that's such a shame. I really liked him. We've not split up, Rosie. Don't speak about him in the past tense. Well, if you do, Mum, I'll set you up on Tinder. Uh, what can I get you? Uh, two teas, Roy, please. Oh, green for me. Ladies. Now, please tell me Gina's not still asleep because she's supposed to be at the craft fair at the community centre this afternoon. Well, I wouldn't know. We haven't seen her. What's a mess? She stayed at yours last night. No, she didn't. I can't tell you. Just tell me you're joking. Well, didn't she come on? Is everything OK? You, you know where I am if you need me. Dad, I can't believe that you didn't ring me. Sally, Sally, look, I just assumed she'd come back. Well, if you assume, you make an ass Rosie, out. that is not helping. But she's not at the hospital. Do you think she's run away? No, all her stuff's still there. Do you know, I can't believe you didn't check she was with Good me. Son, please don't. I feel bad enough as it is. Well, it is half my fault. I should have told you she was acting up yesterday. Yeah, you can't watch her all the time. I just feel so out of my depth. Like, I know she's my sister, but I've never had to put up with this before. Let's just work for this together, OK? It'll be OK. Is that her? No, she has mean and uh, there was no craft fair at the community centre. But why would she lie about that? Right, good news. She's been arrested. How is that good news? Well, Mum, she's not dead. She's alive and well at the police station. I'm not so sure about the well. Come on, Audra. 